Hello everyone, welcome to the first tapping motion for beginners. Uh, my name is Sebastian Martinez and I'm going to be your instructor today. Welcome again to the Entirely Desks. Basically, uh, the tapping technique is an extension of your left hand and it consists on use your right hand to hammer on or pull off uh, different or any note on the fretboard helping you to hit notes that usually you won't be able to play it by only your left hand. Uh, the tapping technique uh, has different applications but uh, on this chapter we will focus on the basic concepts and the basic motions to start using this technique. On the guitar uh, there are two very important things to keep in mind uh, if you're trying to get a clean tapping sound, uh, especially when you are playing with a heavy distortion. Uh, the first thing that we have to handle is the palm of her right hand. This is gonna help us to keep the low strings quiet uh, while we tap the strings with the right hand. But eventually, uh, when you need to tap the low strings, uh, another important fact to keep the sound clean it's by using this part of your index finger of your left index finger to isolate or mute the strings uh, beneath the null you are playing If you play uh, all these on this way, you can hear that it doesn't sound clean and the notes that you are playing aren't very clear. <clears throat> it's different if you play it this way. The low strings you can mute it by this part of your hand. And if you play on the low strings, you can uh, mute or modify the low, the low string, the strings the using this part of your finger. If you play it this way, you get a more clear sound like this. You don't need to exaggerate uh, your movement with, with, the, with your right hand. Choose the finger that make you, makes you more comfortable. I use my middle finger, but some people use uh, her index finger and 
and take the pick on another fingers while while they are doing the tap. The first exercise is based on a basic ascending pattern. And the idea with it is that you develop this basic motion to take it to the next level. So we have uh, our index finger, 5th fret on the B string, then a hammer on with your pinky finger on the 8th fret on the same string, and finally you tap on 12th fret, so the slope is going to be like this. And the last motion is, is going to be hammer on with the, with the tapping note and a pull off then here on the left hand still the same but on the right hand we're gonna hit the 13th fret Then we go back to the to the first position again. And finally we move our left hand one uh, one step forward or one third forward, backward. So we have fourth fret and seventh fret on the piston. And the tap on the 12th fret. And finally, it's the same on the left hand, but on the right hand, we're gonna move our finger to the 10th fret. So it's on like this. Okay, the next exercise is the same motion, it's the same ascending part, but now we're gonna move our top finger, our topping note, uh, to a different frets. So, uh, it starts here again with the same position, fifth, an eighth fret, a hammer on, again, it's the same motion, but now our notes gonna change. To the 15th fret on the 17th fret. So, then we have the same motion, but now the time is gonna be on the 13th fret, 15, 17 again. And finally, the last motion is again the same position for the left hand, but on the right hand, we're gonna hit the 12th fret, 13th, and 16th fret. So.
So the the, the, the entire exercise sounds like this. So this exercise is uh, was designed for be played on different regions of the fretboard. So it's very important that you play it here on the B string and here on the G string, here on the D string and here finally here on the A string. It's very important that you play it several times till you feel comfortable doing the top the topping technique uh, on the different strings.
Okay, exercise number two. Uh, this exercise is based on the opposite motion, that it's a descending motion. So this time we tap the note first. Then we have a pull up. And another pull up from the left hand. So this is the basic the basic motion. Um, on the left hand it's, it's still the same, but now we need to pull off. So the, enti the entire exercise sounds like this. The notes are the same, but in the, the way in which in we are playing, it's different because this time it's a descending pattern. Okay, again, on the left hand, on this exercise, the left hand is still the same, and the notes are the same. But now, again, we're gonna move our tapping, our tap hand to different frets on the on the guitar again, 15th and 17th fret. So. This is the basic motion. When then we have thirteen fret on the tap, thirteen, fifteen, and seventeen. And our last position that is the same as always. So the entire exercise sounds like this. Can remember that it's very important to do all this exercise on the different strings of the guitar.
Okay, this is a more technical approach uh, than a musical, so it consists of just do. The same pattern four times for each uh, for each string. So. And it's a possible way that is the descending pattern. I hope that you have found this lesson useful. Uh, don't forget to check our social networks on my YouTube channel to be informed about the upcoming videos and lessons. See you later, have fun, and welcome again to Guitar League.